Hey, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk to you really quickly about something that's happening currently right now in um, the skies and the energy that's around you. So I'm Michelle McInnes. I am a human design um, women's business coach, and I also do personal readings, all that great stuff. But one of the reasons I wanted to come on is if you are a small business owner, if you're a creative, an entrepreneur, or maybe you've got some creative projects just within your own personal life, right? It doesn't have to just be business. We have this beautiful channel that's available to us and it's the channel of initiation. And the channel of initiation means that we have this beautiful gate 25 coming out of the G center, which is your love and direction. And we have gate 51, which comes out of your ego slash heart center. They're connecting. It's called the full channel. And the cool part of this, and this is why I'm bringing this up, and this is going to last up until the lunar eclipse that happens on March 25th. So you've got a little bit of, you've got a few days, you know, this week and this weekend to really utilize this energy. Why do I think it's important to share this information? Because for most of us, we're really busy. Most people don't have the time to sit down and meditate and actually feel the energies that are around all of us. And if you are doing that, congratulations to you. And if you don't have time to do that, don't beat yourself up. That's why I'm doing these type of quick reports for you. So what does this mean for all of us? The gate of initiation, that ego center, the heart center slash ego center, I prefer to call it ego center. It's a small, small tri triangle here. And that small triangle means that your self-worth, your willpower, the things that you find tangible, kind of what drives you, because this is also a motor center, the ego center is, it is something that 70% of the population doesn't have this energy available to them on a consistent basis. It means that for 70% of the population on the planet, this particular center is white. And when things are white in a channel, it means you don't have the energy for it on a consistent basis. So this is a transit that has big impact and it's got a big impact. First, let's talk about it personally, and then I'll get at it on a global scale. It's showing up this per particular channel. The sun is lighting up gate 25, which is the most powerful one, right? 70% of the energy goes into whatever the sun is lighting up. And this is a place in which we spend a lot of time um, uh, falling in love with life. Like gate 25 to me is somebody, if you happen to have this gate, really has this childlike wonder, this innocence about you. Like, ah, oh, everything is so magical and so beautiful. And it's a very spiritual channel. Gate 51 coming out of the ego center is, um, we call it the channel of shock. But to me, it's somebody who really wants to make an impact in the world. And don't we all in some essence, whether it's to have, you know, raise the best plants in the world or have the best relationships, whatever it is that your goal and dream has been, you have this beautiful energy available to you to make a big impact in the world this week and to know that you're worthy of it because that ego center, when it's undefined and it's white, undefined, open or white, those are all the terminology you'll hear for that. When you have that undefined, you weeble wobble in, what should I charge for things? Can I actually do this? Am I, am I worthy of doing something like this? Who, who, everybody else can do this. Why do I think I can do it? All those kind of questions can pop up for that gate 51. And then you tap it into 50 to 25 and it's the gate of the initiation. It's a very mystical channel. And so what I would say for everybody is start practicing whatever your spiritual preferences are, if it's prayer or if it's meditation, if it's walking, if it's yoga, if it's Tai Chi, whatever, Qigong, however it is that you can get this physical body of yours into some type of practice this week and allow yourself to move forward on projects right now, on things that you're feeling are important for you right now to manifest questions such as um, how to develop something for your highest good of all. Those are great questions to ask before you go into this meditative state. And the cool thing is that gate 25 is being lit up by the sun, but right now gate 51 is lit up by two different areas. The North node, which is the place that we're always trying to get to, we're trying to go to, we're trying to develop ourselves in a new way. And it's also in our sign of Mercury, which is communication and intellect. 
So you've got beautiful energies flowing through here. So you may feel this push to communicate differently. You may feel this push to maybe be more silent within your communication. Maybe you, maybe you feel as if going inward may be better for you. Um, so keep that in mind and utilize this energy. And again, the reason, one of the reasons I love to talk about this is because in our busyness and humanity, um, sometimes we don't have a moment to realize the gifts and the energies that are available to us that we can ride the wave with. So take that and utilize it for the highest good for you. Now, globally, what I see this week is there can be a lot of um, potential to make decent money, decent transactions, decent ideas. But because that's defined, like in everything, when the ego center is defined, it can also tip over into, if it's not healthy, the ego is not healthy, into arrogance, into thinking that maybe, you know, you know all and you need no assistance and no help. And that would be not utilizing this energy in a great way. So I could see where, you know, in the United States, we're getting ready to go into a political arena again with the elections coming up. And um, things can get exaggerated is what I would say. And people may try to use their connections to the higher good of all um, in a really low frequency, which means they're not really utilizing it in the best way possible. So I think that would be the only thing I would be um, cognizant of is making sure that what it is that you're doing and what the world is showing you that you need to check in with yourself to make sure it is of the highest quality of information being delivered. Um, you're kind of seeing that a lot. I think if you're watching anything on the socials and in regards to like even the king and the queen and the prince and the princess over in the, in, in England, um, there can be people who could tip stories right now as they always can, but it could have a little bit more leverage to it. If they're not, if when people are sharing things that really aren't of integrity, this information can spread a little bit more quickly because this type of a channel is active for everybody. It's not selective, right? How we utilize energy becomes a part of our own internal um, structure, our framework, how it is that we want to show up. Are we showing up authentically or are we riding the wave of somebody else's stuff? So keep that in mind this week as you're pondering and meandering through social media or the news or just conversations with people. But for the up and up, because I'm always about just sharing about things that are of higher frequency that help us all grow, uh, uh, help us grow and evolve is human beings and consciousness. Um, utilize this beautiful essence in your own business. See what it is that you may have been hanging out to dry for a while. You weren't sure that you were confident enough to do, didn't know what the pricing should be for something. This is the time to move forward on all of this. And until next time, my dear friends, um, you know, utilize your power, your alignment for the greater good of all. Blessings.